Railway. Railway is a very key uh, move, uh, mover of goods and a very economical. And there is a very small, and this is something that I think needs to be enhanced uh, from both sides. Uh, secondly, I just want to relate you what uh, our, May, our uh, premier uh, textile Gul Ahmed says. He says, I buy cotton from India, I buy yarn from India, I buy textile machinery from India, I buy dyes from India, and when I export my uh, lawn back to India, I'm charged 32% duty. So I think this is one of the barriers that we need to remove. Thirdly, I think as far as uh, Mr. Das is concerned, uh, yes sir, I think uh, uh, entertainment and, uh, is very important, but uh, on the other side, uh, we get a lot of Indian channels and being, or coming on television, but I do not see any one Pakistani channel on Indian television. Thank you. Uh, the last intervention from the floor. Uh, I am Shaikot Sinara from Jadapu University. Uh, I would uh, draw your attention to the uh, excellent presentation by all the three. And uh, now first I would discuss on uh, Selim Bhai's presentation and what he, what his table on welfare effect, he has shown that regional trade facilitation plays a key role in enhancing in the park bilateral trade because MFN, different scenarios under MFN, MFN plus, uh, Indo Park, FTA, all those gives benefits. But once you include regional trade facilitation, that actually doubles your benefits for all the countries in South Asia. And that adds us to what we said in the morning that in a regional framework, we have to talk about uh, Indo Park trade, and that gives benefit to the region and that doubles the benefit. But what I would have, and that adds to Zafar Saab's thing that if you have railways moving across the border uh, as a cheaper means of transport, that can actually enhance trade very significantly. Now, uh, I, what I would have liked uh, Selim Bhai to uh, include is actually as percentage of GDP, what would have been the welfare gains. That gives, that normalizes the uh, um, current figures. Uh, another thing what I would have also liked is in the sectoral impacts, if somewhere you have talked about machinery and equipment, you have talked about all kinds of sectors, there was no mention of the auto sector, which is indeed important and which we are going to discuss throughout the uh, in the afternoon some part of the afternoon though for pakistan it's not a very growing se sector and now next i come to turab's presentation it was excellent uh, one thing which i would uh, like from turab is to pay more on the uh, regional value chain in all these sectors and look at the complementarities between the two countries at the sectoral levels that can possibly lay the basis of enhancing trade between the two countries. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, let me thank uh, my panelists uh, and discussant for being very cooperative, not only in terms of uh, time keep keeping, but also highlighting uh, the important uh, points uh, where it matters. And of course, uh, to uh, all of you. I had some comments prepared, but uh, I won't uh, uh, discuss them because I'm more keen uh, in listening from uh, Dr. Isha Tussain. And uh, while uh, Nisha would introduce uh, him formally, uh, I would just add that uh, in early 2000s, when it was a big taboo, it was State Bank's report on trade potential between Pakistan and India uh, that uh, somehow gave evidences uh, and uh, somehow uh, distinguished between emotions and evidence-based discussion and the credit goes to uh, Dr. Sapp for that report. That report was uh, a real uh, a pioneer work and uh, many of us, we have been uh, following uh, that report. Uh, about the comments uh, uh, from floor, I'm sure that Dr. Sapp in special lecture uh, uh, may be uh, touching upon some of uh, those already, especially uh, interdependency and currency depreciation. So uh, with this, uh, uh, it's uh, 10 past 1 and the time allocated time for the session uh, is over thank you very much